In this tutorial, we will show you how to create basic programs for fading LEDs using Scratch and the Hummingbird blocks. For these examples, we will be using a tricolor LED. We will start with fading a single color and then work up to creating a program with different colored transitions. To get started, I'll head to the Events tab and select a When a Key is Pressed command. With this, your program will run when the key of your choosing is pressed. For now, we'll keep it on the spacebar. Next, head into the Control tab and select a Forever loop. The loop will connect to the Command Key event block already in place. For our next step, we'll need to create a variable. To do so, select the Data tab. Under the Data tab, you will see two options. Select Make a Variable. In the text box, enter a name for your variable. We'll need a counter for this example, so I'll name mine count. Select OK. Now we can add our new variable elements to our program. Next, take a set count to zero block and place it inside your forever loop in the program. Now go back into your controls and grab a repeat loop and place it under the set count block. We'll need to change the loop to repeat 100 times instead of 10. Next in the program, we will need it to change count. Go back into data and select a change count by one block. Place this inside the repeat loop. Now let's add our tricolor LED. Go to more blocks and select the tri LED block and place it above the change count block. Go into data once more and select a count block. Place it in the green element of the tricolor LED. Then change red and blue to zero for this example. This will fade the green element on and off. And this should complete your single color fading LED. Press the space bar to test it. Now that we have a fade in place, it won't be that difficult to add the blocks needed to create a fading program using the green, blue, and red elements of a tricolor LED. Back in your options, select the Operators tab. Choose the minus block and place it in the red element of the tricolor LED block. In the minus block, make 100 and a count block the values. Keep the blue element turned off at zero. This will turn the LED from red to green in this step of the color change. Now we simply need to duplicate a section of the program. Right click on the repeat loop and select Duplicate. You will need another one of these loops, so select right click and select Duplicate again. Our new repeat loops will be placed right underneath one another in the program, like so. Next we need to set the actual change command in between the colors. Go back to the data tab and from our count variable select two set count to zero blocks and place them after the first two repeat loops. Lastly, we'll need to change the colors of our tricolor LEDs. Our original tricolor LED block turns the light from red to green. For the next step in the sequence, let's change it to blue. To do so, in the second repeat loop, move the operator minus block into the green element of the LED and the count block into the blue. Now change red to zero. And finally, let's turn the light from blue to red in the third repeat loop by moving the count block to red, the operator minus block to blue, and change green to zero. Now our tricolor fade program is complete. 
Test it by hitting the spacebar again. As a challenge, see if you can adjust the numbers in the change count and repeat loop blocks to fade through the colors more quickly. And now you know how to create a basic program using Scratch programming with loops and variables and the Hummingbird. For more tutorials, check out our YouTube channel.